2023 Practice Basic Life Support Exam with Answers. Question number one. Which of the following is not a part of the basic life support algorithm? A. Recognition of cardiac arrest. B. Activation of emergency response. C. Delayed defibrillation. D. Continuous chest compressions. The answer is C. Rapid, not delayed. Defibrillation helps restore blood flow to the brain and other organs. The faster you can use the AED, the more likely you are to save someone's life. Question number two. When performing CPR, what is the recommended compression rate? A. 60 to 80 compressions per minute. B. 80 to 100 compressions per minute. C. 100 to 120 compressions per minute. D. 120 to 140 compressions per minute. The correct answer is C. Maintaining a compression rate between 100 and 120 compressions per minute will maximize cardiac output while still allowing for full chest recoil and compressions of the appropriate depth. Question number three. What is the recommended depth for chest compressions on an adult? A. 2 to 3 inches. B. 1 to 2 inches. C. 1.5 inches. D. 2 to 2.4 inches. The answer is D. While performing compressions on an adult, you should compress a depth of 2 to 2.4 inches. Question number 4. Which of the following is a common cause of cardiac arrest? A hypertension. B. Diabetes. C. Hypovolemia. D. Ventricular fibrillation. The answer is D. Ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib, is a serious cardiac rhythm disturbance that causes the heart to quiver, or fibrillate, instead of contracting normally. This prohibits the heart from pumping blood, causing collapse and cardiac arrest. Question number 5. What is the first step in the BLS algorithm? A. Recognition of cardiac arrest. B. Activation of emergency response. C. Assessment of airway. D. Initiation of chest compressions. The answer is A. The recognition of cardiac arrest. Symptoms of sudden cardiac arrest are immediate and severe and include sudden collapse. No pulse. No breathing and the loss of consciousness. Question number 6. When assessing for a pulse, how long should you check before determining that there is none present? A. 5 seconds. B. 10 seconds. C. 15 seconds. D. 20 seconds. The answer is B. When assessing the pulse, check the carotid pulse for no longer than 10 seconds. If no pulse is felt, immediately call 911 and begin chest compressions. Question number 7. Which of the following is the recommended compression to ventilation ratio for BLS in adults? A. 30 compressions to 2 ventilations. B. 15 compressions to 2 ventilations. C. 5 compressions to 1 ventilation. D. 10 compressions to 1 ventilation. The answer is A. After performing 30 compressions give 2 ventilations or breaths. Research has shown that the current compression-to-breath ratio creates better perfusion of blood carrying oxygen to the heart. Question number 8. A child is not breathing and does not have a pulse. You do not know the time of his arrest. When should you call for advanced medical personnel during BLS? A. After 1 minute of CPR. B. After 5 cycles of CPR. C. After 10 minutes of CPR. D. After 20 cycles of CPR. The answer is B. In an unwitnessed arrest of a child or infant, perform CPR for 2 minutes, or 5 cycles, before leaving the patient to get an AED or to call emergency medical services. Question number 9. When performing BLS on an infant, what is the recommended depth for chest compressions? A. 1 to 2 inches. B. 1.5 inches. C. 1 inch. D. Half an inch so that you do not injure the infant. The answer is B. When performing chest compressions on an infant, the recommended depth is 1.5 inches or one-third the depth of the infant's chest. Allow complete chest recoil between compressions and minimize interruptions. Question number 10. 
What is the primary goal of basic life support? A. To increase oxygen levels in the blood. B. To restore spontaneous circulation. C. To administer pain medication. D. To control bleeding. The answers is B. The primary goal of basic life support or BLS is to restore blood circulation and breathing in patients who are experiencing cardiac arrest or respiratory distress. Question number 11. Which of the following is not a potential cause of cardiac arrest? A. Trauma. B. Blood loss. C. Electrocution. D. All of the above can cause cardiac arrest. The answer is D. All of the above can cause cardiac arrest. Trauma, blood loss, and electrocution are all potential causes of cardiac arrest, along with other factors such as heart attack and drowning. Question number 12. When should an automated external defibrillator, AED, be used during basic life support? A. As soon as possible after the patient collapses. B. After one round of CPR has been completed. C. After a pulse check has been performed. D. Only if a healthcare professional is present. The answer is A. As soon as possible after the patient collapses. An AED should be used as soon as possible after the patient collapses and CPR has begun. Question number 13. What is the correct hand placement for performing chest compressions on an adult? A. On the upper half of the breastbone. B. On the lower half of the breastbone. C. On the left side of the chest. D. On the right side of the chest. The answer is B. The correct hand placement for performing chest compressions on an adult is on the lower half of the breastbone. We hope that you enjoyed our practice BLS exam. If so, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Florida Training Academy is an American Heart Association and American Safety and Health Institute training facility that is located in Florida. We offer CPR and CPR instructor level courses in all disciplines. Thank you for watching and for supporting Florida Training Academy, a nurse-owned medical and safety training company.